We're on board here alive. Get someone in his face, shoots him. And he does get the kill. Next going for a second kill. Moho's gonna get a beautiful three piece. Rockside's on a killing spree. John got all four kills. Sharpie going to work as he takes down Vapor. He managed to take one guy out. He takes the oh! Oh! We are back. It is Weekly Warfare. I'm Chris Puckett. I'm Golden Boy FTW. And it is time for game number three between Optic Nation and Juked. Optic Nation is up 2-0. Juke needs this game to stay alive as we head to Underground for more Search and Destroy. Underground, one of those maps where it, it's a focus on that A-bomb site. Don't expect any plants on B-side unless Optic Gaming gets crafty with it, but I don't see it really happening. Sticking to the fundamentals is the name of the game in this series. All right, well, it looks like you are going bottom. I am going with our top team on defense. That is Juked. And it looks like you're going on offense here with Twist, who is going to be grabbing the bomb once again. And I expect Optic Nation to be going for this A-bomb site every single round. That's what we've seen almost every week here on Weekly Warfare. Yeah, you know, A-bomb site, that's the primary area. And the other thing, too, is you want to lay down that bomb as soon as possible. That's exactly what Twizzy did there. He did get hit two Ooh. kills by Wreck with a grenade on Twizzy and Fears, leaving Assassin and Nate shot to pick up the pieces. Man, Fears was just too close to his teammate who was putting down that bomb. Wreck able to pick up the double kill with this single frag grenade. A great start to a round here for Juke. They need to get off to a hot start. Put Optic Nation back on their heels. Yeah, that's basically what needs to happen. Maybe they were just not comfortable with carbon. I know a lot of teams aren't, and some teams are more comfortable with the exchange and underground. So that could be what's going on here. Um, underground quickly becoming a favorite uh, search and destroy map as well, which is surprising. Yeah, you know, it's kind of strange having just one bomb site absolutely dominate the other, but the players absolutely knowing where each other want to go. And we've seen this one go to round seven time and time well, again. Tough. Even though the offense has the advantage, it seems, on this map, we've also seen some huge defensive stands, and Optic Nation has looked to pull one off right now with Assassin and Nade Shot left in the game. The smart thing, though, is that, oh, you, there you go. You can find Nade Shot taking out Image, but a funny thing to point out is you're going to look at Assassin. He knows exactly where the bomb is. Thing's going to be in his sight. And he's going to take out St. Optic Nation taking round number one. And you're going to see the kill cam here where Assassin found St. just lying on the ground waiting for him to pick up the bomb. There he is. Started spraying out Katu style and then came out with the iron sights taking him out. Making Switching round one in favor of Optic Nation. Huge props to Nade Shot and Assassin there. A two on four situation. No problem. Each player taking turns clutching it. And finally, they take out Saint to end the game, taking round number one. Right now, we got Spacely from Juked on our screen. Actually, we got Twiz and Twiz still on the main screen. And it looks like Juked is going to be engaging Twiz. Both players exchanging shots. And it looks like Twiz is going to be forced to back down when we can. Let's take our screen over to the Juked squad, Lennox. It looks like Spacely is going to be just kind of dominating this A side. Finally going to be cleaned up by Twizzy. Meanwhile, Wreck was right behind him. And you see Image there as, as well. And Wreck just baiting his teammate. He's going to pick up the big kill on Twiz. Now he has the bomb Image watching the doorway. It looks like Wreck, after finishing off this final player at the end of the hallway, will be able to go in for a bomb plant. Yeah, they are going to have the uh, sides covered and the flank, but uh, I was just told we're going to go for a little listening. Yeah, let's listen in with our juke squad. Nice, go down, go down. Another one middle, another one middle, another one middle. Buy that fucking red train car like that. That subway in the middle. What do you want to do, Rex? I don't want to take my eyes off of our rap. He's I'm back cars. Oh Yo, Saint, God, you watch that. that in Rex. You have to plant. Saint. What? I don't know. Stunning, they're stunning. Planning. Oh, Other one's behind you. Taken down, Saint cleaned up immediately after, and that is going to be the end of the round. Big kill once again from Optic Assassin, charging out there, 
working with Fears as they take down Saint and take round number two. Oh, some good coordination by the Optic Squad. Fears moved in. He managed to take out one guy and expose Saint uh, and letting Assassin clear up that other kill, taking the W on that round. So very good play by Optic Nation. Let's see what uh, Juke can do to retaliate because they're struggling in this series. And if you are just joining us for the first time here on Weekly Warfare at the top of your screen, you will see the total game score Optic Nation up 2-0. So far, we are in game number three. The four dots below the scoreboard will indicate the players alive for each squad. In the upper left, you have Optic Nation's mini-map. And in the upper right, you have the Juked mini-map. Yeah, what a, what a nice, little, nice little addition, huh? Yeah. Pr props to our boys Lennox and friends uh, who put all of this together and of course everyone working on the crew back here we got Shibby, Arabski, Zigos, Manon, the kill death meter and it looks like we got a plant here coming out of Optic Nation. Is that Twiz once again? Yeah, that would be Twizzy. He just knows how to lay down the bomb. I mean, that's something you got to know when. You have to have the opportunities uh, opened up for you, and his team is definitely doing that. Nate Shot's going to be watching inside of the station. Assassin watching the arches leading in front of the A bomb site. And once again, the focus on the A site, and I think... Optic might have this one wrapped up. Yeah, Wreck was just taken down there by Assassin over at the A site. Saint trying to poke in is cleaned up from the opposite direction by Nade Shot, and Nade Shot doubles it up to end the round with a kill on Juke. Can't wait for this kill cam. Here is Nade Shot, known for the YouTube domination. Here he is doing it on Weekly Warfare, absolutely cleaning up the players on Juke as they are sweeping once again up 3 0, needing just one more round to send Juke home tonight. I'll tell you this much, Nate Shot has definitely impressed me because in, in Black Ops, he was a good player. He was a solid player, knew what he was doing. But oftentimes, you know, when you compare him to the other elite optic game, uh, optic players and guys like Rambo and Big Timer, he wasn't at that caliber. But now I just, I, I see it. Nate Shot is a beast in this game. I The rumors are true. He's going large. In going fact, large. can we put our camera on Nate Shot? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's just it's watch for you, him man. for the rest of the game. His very first Modern Warfare 3 tournament was, of course, Call of Duty XP. And what did he do there? He won the whole thing. Yeah. He won the whole thing with uh, Big Timer, Merc, and um, I think Vengeance. And how much did they bank for that? I think they ended up coming out $400,000 richer. So it was hundred grand for each player. Not a bad day of gaming, and he is having a great Another night day at work. so far. <laughs> up 2-0 with his team, Optic Nation, and they're looking to close this one out with another huge kill that is Nate Shot taken down Saint from behind. Actually, he's gonna be cleaned up finally by Wreck, and it is gonna be up to Wreck and Spacely to defend this bomb. They actually had to switch it up and go over to the B bomb site for this round. But that's the thing though, when when all else fails, try something different. Fears though, beautiful headshot on Spacely, but that will not be enough. He could not defuse the bomb. And it's going to be 3 1 in the count. Round 5 coming up next in this underground search and destroy game here at Weekly Warfare. Boom. Oh, I love this show. I'm, I'm a big fan. You are? I tell all my friends on Twitter to watch it. Oh, I, I do not. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm well, like, I forget because well, everyone just asks me. It, it'd be kind of nice if our, if our viewers out there help spread the word. I know, and my, myself included. I need to get my Twitter up on my new phone and everything. So. Yes, your new uh, Xperia Play, of course. My, hell yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Right now, we got. Optic Twizzy on your screen. Once again, the bomb carrier for Optic Nation, who has those great shots in the Ooh. midsection. Optic just going off. Nade Shot taking down Saint and Assassin finishing the game. Here he is with a long range shot. Perfect ACR kill here as he cleans up the final kill. Optic Nation finishing game number three with the total tally four to one. Optic Nation sweeps juked here on our Weekly Warfare main stage. You know, we saw life out of Juked in that first game. It was really good. They took it to an overtime, but then that second game just completely eliminated their morale. They ended up uh, going out 4-0 with three members of Juke not even getting a kill. Let's look at the kill uh, or the scoreboard here as Nade shot 7-2, and two, playing amazing once again. Absolutely huge round two or game number two. He had nine kills. Game number three, seven kills. Still only two deaths. Going huge. Big shout out to our boys from Optic Nade. Nation, Nate Shot leading the way as they sweep Juke 3 to 0. So thank you, Juke, for joining us here on Weekly Warfare for match number one. Guys, we're not done yet, though. We still have one more match for you. It's the two teams who won two pro circuit events last season. Optic Gaming will be facing off against Leverage. And while we go to commercial break as we get our players in the room, 
make sure to go pick up your own MLG Mad Cats controller. It's the only controller that has no, no slow turn, two-year guaranteed warranty. And, of course, you can switch out Beautiful. all of the thumbsticks to do whatever the hell you want with it. Pick up that controller at madcats.com slash MLG. Guys, we will be back with more Weekly Warfare after this.